Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game from Scratch, and today we are talking about Unity Learn Premium. And you might be thinking, wait a minute, you've done this. I was like, yeah, I've talked about this a couple of times, to be honest, and for good reasons, including today. So we'll get to the reason about today in just a second, but the reasons I've covered it in the past, well, first off, um, Unity Learn, I, when it first came out back in April of 2019, I actually tagged it as the best way to learn Unity, and I haven't actually changed my mind there. I do think that Unity Learn is probably the single best resource for learning Unity. Now, there are a ton of excellent YouTube tutorials out there, uh, courses on Udemy, etc. But in this particular case, it's just all in one place and the quality is pretty consistently high. Plus, you've also got a combination of text and video tutorials. It's just a great resource. And then I talked about it uh, about March. So, God, I don't even know how to tell time anymore with the way things have been. So, I say April, May, June. So, three months ago, uh, Unity Learn Premium was made available for free. And that was because of the COVID outbreak. I believe I'm allowed to use that word again. Thank Thanks, YouTube. Uh, but basically, we've all been stuck at home. A lot of people kind of stepped up, gave us some material to go through and cover, including Unity. So they made Unity Learn Premium free during the outbreak. For a couple of months, they said everybody can access it. And as you can see here, I actually said this is useful to non-Unity devs. And I hold true to that. There's a lot of content here. Now, the majority is obviously Unity-specific content. But there are other courses in here, things like Maya and Texturing and Substance and so on, that are useful generally, even if you're not using Unity Learn, uh, Unity itself. So um, yeah, that was then. And then today, and this is really weird, but basically, uh, they've made it free. Uh, for everybody. Now, that's not weird itself. It's the way they've made it uh, known that's weird. First off, I have a Unity subscription, a Unity Learn uh, subscription running right now. I got it as part of something I did in the past. Plus, of course, I've got the free thing running because everybody else has it too. And uh, I never got the email. Uh, but basically, they're saying they made Learn uh, Premium. I also call it Learnium and I call it Learnity. I, I just can't help both words come out of my mouth. Uh, but they're basically making it free for all users in perpetuity. For those of you that may not know that word, it basically means forever, ongoing, forever and ever and ever and ever, with an asterisk, of course, they could shut it down whenever they want. But right now, Unity Learn Premium is basically free for everyone. Now, the strange thing is, that email never got to me. There is no blog post, there is no Twitter post, but I am actually on the Unity Learn site, which is learn.unity.com, and this message is very much there, so it is 100% confirmed. Now, I got a couple of uh, comments from people on my Discord server this morning, by the way, thanks for the heads up, guys, that Unity Learn Premium premium was being made free forever, and they got this email. I didn't, but they did. Uh, so basically, it's high user. Uh, since making Unity Learn Premium complimentary for all users on March 19th, we've seen an overwhelming number of people access and benefit from these learning resources. It is clear to us that Learn Premium or Learnity or Learnium uh, is available to our community and to uh, it is clear to us that is valuable, not available, is valuable to our community and to play our part in supporting all creators during these uncertain times. Learn Premium will continue to be free for everyone in perpetuity. Uh, by providing this act, uh, easier access, we hope to bring you and all of our users one step closer to achieving your learning and professional goals. If you are a monthly subscriber, you will no longer charge you for Learn Premium. There's no action needed on your part. We'll take care of this on our end. If you have any questions, reach out to customer support. Finally, we are excited to continue supporting your learning journey and to see more of your projects come to life. Take care of the Learn Premium team. And I think this is awesome. I think it's great that it is available to more and more people. I also think it's a little bit unfortunate because they recently re increased the price of the pro subscription. And then, of course, they did that recent thing with the Mars AR stuff. And this was one of the perks of a pro subscription is you got Learn Premium $100 value per year for free. So they've raised the price and then now they kind of got rid of one of the key features. So I don't know. I, I, I think the majority of users are going to really appreciate this. I'm not so much sure that Unity subscribers are. Let me know what you think down below. Is, is part of the reason why you subscribe to Unity uh, for that Unity Learn savings? If so, does it kind of make it a little bit less of a deal? Let me know. All right, so I've covered it a couple times in the past, but since we're here, we might as well talk about it a bit. We're going to do a quick rundown of what Unity Learn Premium is all about. Nice thing is you can just straight out come here and talk about what you want to learn. So for example, if you want to learn Maya, as I mentioned earlier on, there are courses here that aren't necessarily straight up about Unity. So we got here, Unity, obviously, uh, but Retopology Best Practices in Maya for Unity. Oh, for Unity, da 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 Retopalizing Game Characters in Maya. So that's just a straight up Maya course. It's got nothing to do with Unity. Uh, so there are things of value here for just 
just general people outside of the Unity ecosystem. Generally, those are all provided by Pluralsight, a training company. So you can come up and you can search for whatever you want, or you can just break it down to buy one of four categories. So we've got projects, courses, tutorials. Now, courses are a long form. They run uh, for quite a bit of time. Tutorials are like little short one-offs. These tend to be, uh, say, 15 to 20 minutes a piece kind of thing. You come down here, so you see uh, all kinds of them, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 40 minutes, uh, 30 minutes, and so on. So let's say you want to work with uh, hexagonal and isometric uh, tile maps. Uh, you come on in here, broken down into... Uh, this one's in four categories. The nice thing here is they tend to be uh, all text supported uh, on them. Uh, they're, they're generally used video as well. Uh, so here, let's go create. Okay, so this one doesn't this one doesn't actually have a video. It's a straight up text tutorial, but it basically walks you through what you need to know to make isometric maps. Definitely nice. You can come back in. Um, your progress at any time so you can start the tutorial and when you come back to the site it will pick you up where you started off so those are the uh, tutorials again those are small under an hour single topic kind of focused things and then we got projects and courses and the kind of a little bit overlap there projects are uh, kind of like let's do this and complete it so implementing an ability system as an example post-processing stack up and running with the HD render pipeline and so on. It's basically task oriented. These tend to be a little bit longer. You're looking at two, five hours there, two hours and so on. There's an absolute ton of them, by the way. And the nice thing is you can come up here and you can sort by any particular category. You used to be able to sort between free and premium. I'm assuming that premium is going to go away and free will basically take over for all of that because that content here doesn't really make sense anymore. Uh, you can do it down by industry. So if you're only interested in game tutorials, you can filter that way. And let's say you're only interested in 2D topics. So here we are getting just 2D tutorials. And here you can see we've even got six, um, six just straight up 2D tutorial topics here. Uh, so that's under projects. We can also go into courses. These tend to be a little bit long form. Um, and again, you could come in and resume. So and you see here, there are quite a few. And then once again, under the course stuff, uh, you can... Uh, no, and again, a lot of these are actually plural site, as I mentioned earlier on. You can filter once again. So again, if you're only interested into the game stuff, you can. And let's say you're interested in artificial intelligence. There is a course on artificial intelligence. This one is plural site. Uh, you've got the ability to start the course, resume back into it. This one is uh, all video based, as you can see right here. And you're looking at an hour 30, 230, 235, and an hour 40. So you're looking about five or six hours of video there in this particular course. And again, you've got the ability to kind of start watching it and then resume where you, you left off. And then finally, we've got live. And this is where they do live sessions. You basically can log in. Basically, it's kind of like a live webinar or whatever around a particular topic. They schedule things. So the next one you can see is June 23rd. So that's today, actually. Uh, it's create your own, uh, create your first action RPG game with C-sharp part three. That's today at, from one till two. So these are live courses. You can see a schedule things that are coming up. So the 25th, we've got got one for the timeline and then on the 30th we've got one for shader graph and yeah that's kind of it the final thing you could do here is come and search just specifically for topics this will kind of ignore all of that stuff so here we're looking at the 2d topics across the entire spectrum and you see here there are 89 results in that particular case so there is an absolute ton of content here you can also filter between uh foundational beginner intermediate and advanced now the one downside to this whole thing i'm going to filter this down let's go here uh if we go to advanced you're going to find there isn't a ton of advanced. So we've got 44 results under advanced topics. Whereas if we come back here and we switch that out to, say, beginner, we have 534. We added intermediate to that. We've got 844. So you're seeing uh, at the advanced tier stuff, there's just not a ton of content on here. Now, it's being added over time. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's kind of... Uh, a small limitation, not a huge deal at all. And, and again, I said this was the single best place for learning uh, Unity. And when you kind of get starting getting in the advanced topics, it tends to be you spend more time in documentation and less time on tutorials anyways. But I would obviously love to see more and more as time goes on. I wonder if you actually have, uh, I don't know how many non-English tutorials we've got going on here. Let's just do Chinese and Japanese. Oh, yeah. So we've got uh, a number of tutorials that are for uh, different language speakers as well. Uh, so if you are interested in checking it out, that is Unity Learn Premium. And as I mentioned to start the video, it is now available to all users in perpetuity. So if you want to check it out, it is available at learn.unity.com. I will link that in the linked article down below. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Also, let me know if you got the email. It's not like I'm a little bitter that I never actually received uh, this particular email. Uh, but 
I, I didn't. Also, if you have never checked out Unity Learn, I really highly do recommend it, especially, obviously, if you are working with Unity, but even if you're just working with something like uh, 3D Studios Max or Maya or Substance or whatever, you may find some great courses on there as well, and it's completely and utterly free. So that is definitely a cool move. So I got to applaud Unity on this one, although I am, once again, very, very, very curious uh, what subscribers think about it. Um, you know, given the fact that this was one of the perks of Unity Pro. If you subscribe to Pro and now they're giving away Learn Free, what do you think of that? Let me know. Comments down below, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.